Roseanne Barr blames Sarah Gilbert for Roseanne cancellation. Although the 66-year-old comedian still believes ABC had it out for her before she sent about Valerie Jarrett, Barr is adding a new cohort to the mix as to why the series was axed. In an interview with After Barr's Jarrett tweet, where she compared the former Obama aide to a Planet of the Apes character, Gilbert quickly condemned the comment, calling it abhorrent and that it does not reflect the beliefs of our cast and crew or anyone associated with our show. Roseanne's recent comments about Valerie Jarrett, and so much more, are abhorrent and do not reflect the beliefs of our cast and crew or anyone associated with our show. I am disappointed, you Sarah Gilbert at THE Zaragil Burt. This is incredibly sad and difficult for all of us, as we've created a show that we believe in, are proud of, and that audiences love a one that is separate and apart from the opinions and words of one cast member. You Sarah Gilbert at THE Zaragil Burt. She destroyed the show and my life with that tweet, Barr now exclaims. She will never get in. In response, Gilbert tells the Post that while I am extremely disappointed and heartbroken over the dissolution of the original show, she will always be family, and I will always love Roseanne. The article examines the behind-the-scenes tug of war over Barr's behavior on social media, which started nearly a year before that Valerie Jarrett message was ever sent. I knew that Roseanne, the person, was unpredictable at times, but she told me this was her redemption, Gilbert reflects. I chose to believe, adds Whitney Cummings, an executive producer on the reboot I had not gone through the years of past tweets, and that was my mistake. Her tweets, before the one that got her in trouble, were absolute nonsense, Doug Stanhope, a comedian and friend of Barr's who appeared on the reboot, notes. Zionist things, according to the Post, Barr's tweets caused tension within the show's production team almost immediately you like in August 2017 when she defended S handling of Charlottesville and attacked the Antifa movement. Gilbert called the sh- I don't want to talk about it you it will be gone, Barr emailed more, before deleting the tweet. According to the article, the network didn't propose a no-tweet clause in Barr's contact. Instead, as it was always this back and forth of ABC not wanting to appear they were censoring Roseanne but also not quite pulling out the big guns, Moore says. Going, you're w- I admit it, she tells the Post. I am a troll. In the fall of 2017, Gilbert and Werner set up a meeting with Bar and PR powerhouse Kelly Bush Novak, whom they had hired to represent the show. Novak was concerned, I said, if already apologized Barr says, recalling the meeting with Novak. And I did. Barr eventually got off Twitter, but only because her 23-year-old son, Buck Thomas, reset her password without her knowledge. I didn't want her to, eventually, Thomas turned over the password and one month later, Barr questioned whether the Parkland shooting survivors were child actors. Co-showrunner and, I am really sorry to ever ask you to hold your voice. He wrote, but I think there are even more powerful ways to put ideas out there through the show itself, which I hope we have the opportunity to do many, many more episodes of Together. That abruptly ended in May 2018. After her 50th, this time, the network had enough. Although it's been 10, and while Barr has nothing to lose at the moment, her kids are still trying their best to keep her off Twitter. Her two adult daughters in a February YouTube video, Barr called Republic. Alexandria, I can't, she says in a text message. Do I look like the, read more on Yahoo Entertainment. Want daily pop culture news delivered to your inbox, for Yahoo Entertainment Lifestyles newsletter.